Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia is simply gas, ladies, and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure to be in Phuket one more time. Unfortunately, this will be a very brief period. The Thai business meeting today is very important to all of us. I have to be honest about this, that I feel always feel comfortable being with businessmen than when I'm around politicians. <laughs> Part of the story probably be that I have been a businessman for over 20 years and I did find it such challenging like being politician these days. Anyway, uh, there are a few, few topics that I would like to spend the time on. The staff prepare about five pages and I think by the time I've gone through it, you, you all probably <laughs> sleep or something. <laughs> I, I first, first of all, I, I would like to reaffirm our government's uh, partnership and commitment to INTGT. It's interesting when you when you just look at you know INT, GT, JDC meeting, and if you are an outsider, then you probably say, what's going on there? You know, I is Indonesian, M is Malaysian, T of course is Thailand, GT what growth triangle something like that. Basically, what we're looking at is how best to be big than just being small. Because we all believe that being big is beautiful. Being big is where the world should be heading. When, when I was in a meeting with the Asian, we have 10 countries, and it seems like that's not enough. So we have Asian plus three. And then come along Asian plus six. But basically what we're looking at is, is that as to develop our countries, I think it's all come down to the point that we don't think we can do it alone. And it's very true. You know, for the ASEAN, 10 countries, you count the area, the number of population, the size is about, about uh, India. Look at Thailand alone, and we, we show to the world that we are ready to, to be part of the societies that we want to invite investment, blah, blah, blah. And then the investor look at us and say, hey, why should we go to Thailand? If we set up the factory there, there's only 60 million people. And they are not, not all of them, uh, middle or high income that within the brackets that will be our kind. Why not invest in India? Why not do it all in China? But if the actual integration can come through, can be realized in the next few years as we can, then when we invite them to Thailand, you said, look, Thailand is this at this at that, but the market is just as big as India. When the tourist people want to come to Vietnam, they get visa in Vietnam, and then they can come to Thailand without going to any kind of headache. So basically, the world is looking at something like small is good, but big is better. So, but when we look at this IMT JDC uh, 
meeting today and the way she set up, I think it was on the six or seven layers, and there's so many layers up. I just wonder when things gonna get done sometimes. <laughs> but uh, what I'm trying to say is this. Uh, Indonesian, what, 10 provinces? Malaysia is about 8 states, and Thailand is 14 provinces. Uh, we, we more or less trying to find common goal or where we should pursue. There are two, I think there are two, two areas that, that we want to touch on and think it's, it's one of the areas that we should concentrate with. And I think that's a good thing to do. I don't think we can do just about everything. You know, we, the combined of the three, uh, I have to figure here, 70 million people, about the, the economy size is about half of Thailand GDP at the moment. So what we're looking at is, is the thought of, I always look at countries as companies sometimes. So the IMT company core business would be like what? Tourist? Hello industry? <laughs> so if, if you look at it like that, and then and then we, we go in further and we go and look at and see who is based at what. You know? And then that would be a leader and the others would tag along. And it, it just completes the whole package. So uh, I don't know who's, who's the leading out of, you know, in tourist industry. I don't know who should be a big brother in the halal industry. But what I would like to say is that, that tourism is, is very, very important because the money that tourists spend goes into just every sector, every level of society. They are sure there's a lot of argument to that. People say that they come here on a package tour, they pay their airline fees, they fly United, American fly United, Japan fly Japan Airlines, you know, blah, blah, blah. They stay at the uh, Japanese stay at Nikkei Hotel, and the Americans stay at Starbucks, <laughs> you know. But the things, that's the things of the past. I think the world is more open these days. So how are we going to position ourselves? That's important. I think you business people know better than I do that how best your core business is tourism, how best you can help each other, how best you can compete but everybody gain. That's important. I'm not saying that we should not compete at all. I think we should compete. Just make ourselves fit, you know. I mean, if you don't compete, you thought of going down and somebody else will take your place. But we should be able to think that and uh, keep remember that together is so important. This thing. And as a government, we would help as much as we can. In our stimulus package to get out of this financial mess, you know, financial 